Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. As human beings, one of the primary fundamental things that we're all seeking is to be loved by someone. You know, being loved by someone is important, but did you know this? That a baby, really a newborn baby, is the only thing that requires love, and it's a very short period of time that it only requires that love for just a few months, and after that, it has acquired all the neurology to pretty much become very, very independent and self-actuating and also self-sustaining. The interesting thing about us as human beings, when we seek love, many times we're looking for the wrong thing, thinking it's love. A lot of people think sex is love, and it's not. A lot of people think kissing means love, and it doesn't. What means love is an attitude and an intention, an intention you have towards someone else. And a true loving intention means that you want the best for them, that you want them to thrive. Many people think love is this codependent relationship that we see on television and hear about in love songs that simply means that you can't live without someone. That's not love. That's codependency. What love really is, is being in a relationship that you are allowing that person to grow as fast as they possibly can and you support that growth no matter what happens. That's love. Sometimes love comes to us by surprise. I can guarantee you if you're seeking love, you're looking for love, you're going to be looking in the wrong places because you're simply going to be looking for people that you're attracted to. But here's the thing about that. Many times we're attracted to the thing that's the weakest in ourself. And many times we're attracted to the thing that we are weak in. However, that other person has that attraction to us as well. But the attraction they have towards us is not the physical attraction of really wanting the best for you is the attraction of just liking the way you look and that external environment, that visual environment, that stimulation that goes way, way inside of the bigger picture, which is intention. When someone says they love you, what you really want to know is what, their, what is their intention in having a relationship with you? What do they want for you? And I can guarantee you the sexuality in a relationship is important. I can guarantee you that the connection and the chemistry is important. However, what makes chemistry is intention and matched intentions of both people. You just like that person because you like them. You just want to be around them because it's fun, it's enjoyable, and it feels good. You see, everyone wants to be around someone who makes them feel good. And if you can be around someone who makes you feel good, love's probably right around the corner. They may not look like the model of what you thought they would. They may not be the model of what you thought they would. In fact, I can almost guarantee you it's not who you thought it would be. If you're in a marriage right now and you're having trouble in your marriage and you feel like very possibly the love has fallen away, I can guarantee you one of the things going on is control. Each of you are attempting to control the other person through your own map or model of the world. Let's let go of that and let's just appreciate that person for still being in the game with us and love them for that and just allow them to thrive and grow. And if you'll do that, they'll let loose so you can do that and you'll be surprised at the outcome. Let's work on that a little bit today. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary asking you to love deeply and not on the surface. Bye-bye.